I started with Freddie Moore in 70, no, it was 60, 68. I already worked with Freddie Moore or for him, for Swiss made. Um, I made my first ET. And so I did that myself and then later on in Hollywood, or not in Hollywood, in Shepperton Studios where I worked, that was, um, they had a, had a whole studio behind me and that was very different and uh, I got paid as a designer but still there I worked with my hands and that was good at that time. Most of my work is very fine done and uh, I put a lot of hours in it. Yeah, that's probably a Swiss uh, thing. Uh, first was Jodorowsky. He was in Dali's home and they wanted me for, for doing Dune. And I did some, some drawings, and, uh, but Jodorowsky couldn't find the money. But like, so I got in contact with Dan O'Banion and that, so I came to, to Alien. At that time, there was out the Emerson Lake and Palmer cover. The Necronomicon came out. Ridley Scott, with that book in his hands, he could convince the people of me. Yeah? First, they only wanted me for the design, uh, but then, and I, then I could realize that they have not been very, uh, yeah, I mean, they needed some help, it seems to me, because I learned, you know, drawing plans or so by an architect, and uh, I was good in these things. I think it was very important to do that because uh, that's the only time you got a lot of money. That's, that's very important, I think. And I could so realize my other projects with this money. And um, it uh, helps you to get in other, uh, you see now new problems, new, new, uh, yeah, complete other problems. And, and that helps you to get in, get, uh, very creative, new creative stuff, yeah. And it, yeah, for, for my work, it was quite good. Ridley Scott first told me to do matte paintings, but then he, he, uh, there was no need for, because he found another one, a real matte artist. I mean, I, I did some, but it was not used, I think. It was around the air, aircraft, uh, around the spacecraft, something there. I, I did something, but it was not, probably not good enough. <laughs> When I worked there, that was the first time I worked for the film industry, for the real big productions. And uh, that was uh, so new for me, everything. And uh, Ridley Scott showed me everything. That was very good. It was uh, difficult at that time to to work for an atelier or for film, big film, because I had no, no help from anywhere, because I couldn't ask 
with the money problem or with everything. I had no, I, I didn't know anybody who was working for film studios. So I had to make m my experience myself and that was not always good. And I, I also, yeah, that was a little, uh, but otherwise for ideas or so it was very good, very good, yeah. <laughs> when it stopped, then a plane and Alien was uh, the best thing I did. I think after Alien, my uh, film design was no more uh, very good because I was not involved enough. And uh, that, the, uh, yeah, so from, from if you live in Switzerland and you have to do to work for a production in the foreign country, like in the States or so, and you have not, not a good, you know, then, then there is no way to, to do a good work. People do what they want in the studios, you know. You make a good design and then they do it with what, and so um, I uh, was always more and more, I got depressed about the work I did and it was no more good. Sometimes I, at the end it was so terrible that there was no more, no more my own, my own uh, cr uh, creations. Uh, they are all creations from, from uh, the executive people and uh, completely changed in their own mind. And, and I, I, want, I didn't want to give my name for that. And uh, so I, that was, it got more and more, it was, uh, not good, yeah. But later on, I, I, I was, uh, I think I, I made a bad, bad thing. I, probably I got on the blacklist if it exists something like that because I criticized the, the films. I worked with other people and I said, who was doing this shit? And, <laughs> and so I, I think they do not like me very much. My work, I used as art and normally the, the studios, they won't get the, the, the all, the, all the, the drawings and things, they think it belongs to them. And in earlier time that was not decided and I had really a problem to, to, to get it and, and I had to sign different things that, that uh, yeah, but it, normally it's clear that it's my it's my work. But now they, if I have any time, they can steal me or make new new films with my stuff. That happened all the time. I'm happy that I'm not informed. <laughs> I realized that in some films, just a, a very, I think, ah, that looks very familiar somehow. And then I see that it's a cutout from a painting of me. I mean, it's also um, an honor to, to that people copy your work somehow, no? Uh, I like that. Why not? Because I got this Oscar, that was big, uh, you know, uh, people heard about that and with the art it was stuck. In Switzerland, it, I, they stopped with, with buying something for a museum or so with my work for a museum. No, it was not my, I didn't want to get a Hollywood designer <laughs> to become a Hollywood designer. It was funny to be involved, and um, but uh, it didn't make me happy. But that's not the important thing. No? no, 
now it's very <laughs> quiet. I had a, an influence on on a film design or also other things from other artists or, or films. Yeah, that's true. That makes me happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not well informed, I'm sorry. Uh, I have no idea what the designers are around. Uh, John Ho, I know, but he's not Swiss, no? Or Dieter Roth, you know, or so. Tangle, I liked very much, or Luginbühl, or so. I have to think, but I, I think it's not classical Swiss. It doesn't exist. Swiss design or so. Uh, I haven't studied that. I, I, I should think about, but I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, not, I'm not informed enough to, to see what's, what special Swiss design is. I like, I mean, I like Switzerland very much, and I, I prefer to stay here and not to go to Hollywood. It would be terrible. Here, I'm very happy. 